Hurry, hurry, hurry. Find out what it feels like right here on Earth. Let the mirror show you who you are and who you shall be. The women in noir. There's always the femme fatale or the engineer. And the femme fatale is incredibly interesting because ultimately they're women with agency. And we thought, can we take the central character of Stan and make him the homme fatale? No, I'm just thinking that if you help me, we can make quite a big dent in this town. Nightmare Alley is about loathing, greed, manipulation. In that darkness, there's three beacons of truth, three different women, Molly, Dina, and Lilith. The three female figures illuminate the darkness that is Stan. Morning. Just arrived last night, so I thought. Of course you did. Zena's wary of Stanton. He's constantly influenced by the world around him. Oh, you're trouble, ain't you, pup? Someone who's so affected by his traumatic childhood and he can't escape it. Bradley brings reality and he brought himself and the desire to commit to realism. We discuss Stan and what do we have in us that could be Stan, and he nailed it. Molly, you're better in this place. Maybe you think I'm special, but I'm not. That's not good enough for me. Sure ain't good enough for you. Molly, she's got a sweetness and an innocence and a purity that kind of stands out in this world of kind of decay and dubious pasts. Molly, you're bigger in this place. If you let me, I want to give you the world and everything in it. She just wants to feel safe and loved, and he really ruins that. Stan thinks he has a better destiny. He'll never have enough. Doctor. The relationship between Stan and Lilith is like a dance of death. They have a kind of a deep psychological recognition that there's a similarity between them. You barely know me. Oh, I know you well. The scariest thing for Stan is a mirror. And Lilith is a mirror. She is as strong as Stan. They are both scarred. And their clash is going to be epic. Don't lie. I'll know if you're lying. Shoot.